Well, what a game for Xyra Elkhorn Kimbleton, pitcher Macy Emgarden, 19 strikeouts tonight and a win over Woodbine. Uh, Macy, what are the thoughts? Is that a career performance for you? Um, yes, it is. Uh, it was hot out, but I couldn't have done this with my teammates, and I'm just excited to get that win. Yeah, it's a big win. Uh, I think it clinches the conference for you guys. Obviously, it's against a really good team. Um, what, tell me about this win. What does it mean? Um, it's huge. Uh, I hope we can continue this uh, momentum we have and just keep using it in the postseason. At what point tonight did you really feel like it was going to be a good night for you? Or can you point to a moment in the game where you're like, all right, I'm dialed in? Um, probably like the second inning. I was ready to go. Yeah, uh, then you went on a stretch where you had like 14 straight strikeouts or something like that. Uh, during that run, anything in particular that you were going to or you felt was working? Um, just my movement pitches, and I was just making sure to keep things off the plate and making them chase. Yeah, and it seemed like early on you got them to chase kind of up and out quite a bit. Was that something coming into tonight and having seen them before you, you thought you would be able to do, or speak to that part of the game? Um, well, playing them last time, I knew what their strengths and weaknesses were, so I just used that this time and used it against them. Offensively, the offense does just enough. Um, I'm sure you were excited to have those three runs to, to back you up. Yeah, um, our bats have been really working lately, and I'm glad they were there tonight. Senior year, I know it was senior night. Uh, to, to put forth a performance like you did tonight at one of your final times on this field, at least that we know of, uh, what does that mean? Um, I have loved getting to play softball here the past five years with these girls. It's so fun, and I'm excited to keep playing with them. Yeah, uh, what's the approach going forward? I'm sure you guys have lofty goals. You've had a strong season. You've been really close to Fort Dodge the last couple of years. Um, what's the approach? Um, I think we just need to use our past experience and what that felt like and make sure that doesn't happen again. All right, Coach, uh, a really fun game tonight, being a good Woodbine team. What are the thoughts, what are the takeaways? Uh, I thought Macy pitched really well. She had 19 strikeouts, so that was a really big game for her. We knew going into it it was going to be a pretty defensive battle with Charlie Pryor being a good pitcher and Macy being a good one as well. So that was good um, there. And then our bats, we were able to respond when Woodbine scored in the first inning. Just got that run back and then put on two in the second inning. So it was good to play with the lead for most of the game. Puts more pressure on them and takes it off us. So that was nice. Lockdown performance from Macy tonight. Uh from a coach's perspective, what stood out to you about her performance? She's calling her own pitches right now, so just um, knowing what's working for her and having confidence in herself. I thought she did a good job of knowing what was working and what was keeping their batters off from swinging it. She did a good job of changing it up, keeping them off pace. Um, so yeah, she just did a great job out there. Talk about the offense tonight. You mentioned going in, probably expected runs to be at a premium, and they were, but you guys were able to capitalize early. What led to that? Um, just. It always helps when we get one of our first batteries on with less than two outs. That helps a lot. And then um, we usually tend to step up when we have uh, people in scoring position because we know how important it is, especially in a game like this, to score those runners because you don't know when you're going to get them on again. So I thought when there was a runner on, I can't remember for sure, I think Molly and Shea both had big hits. Um, so that was huge for them to score runners when we could. Yeah, and I think all three of those runs, too, I'd have to go back and look, but I think they came with two outs. Uh, so what, what does that say about the girls being able to battle through innings? Yeah, I think they just um, know as long as there's an out to be played and there's a swing that they can score runners, they don't get too worked up if they're um, in the box with two outs. They're like, oh, I don't want to be the third out. They're more like, okay, I'm going to score a run. So that's a good mentality they have up there. Pretty sure this clinches the RVC for you guys uh, moving to staying undefeated in conference play. I know when you start the year, that's always a goal. What are the thoughts on that? Yeah, that was a goal from the beginning. Um, last year we shared it and that with Woodbine, um, and they were good again this year. So. We wanted to not share it this year. We wanted to win it outright, and that looks like what we're going to do. I, well, I don't think we cannot do with that, so that was good. You guys have been really close the last couple of years to the ultimate goal, which is a state tournament. Um, what do you feel between now and the time the postseason rolls around you guys need to do to get there? Uh, just clean up some things defensively. Uh, we haven't – thank you. Uh, we haven't been playing – totally up to par with that. We've been having more errors than usual, so just cleaning that up, um, knowing more balls are going to be put into play when we get into that postseason. Um, offensively, I've been pretty happy with that, but just continuing that confidence and not losing that confidence is the biggest thing in such a mental game that softball is. Macy's performance tonight, was that the best you've ever seen from her, or where does that rank? Um, I don't know. I guess, yeah, I would say 19 strikeouts is a pretty good game. Um, she's put in a lot of good games, though. I think 
I don't know, I guess maybe I take her for granted, but we kind of expect those kind of performances. Um, but I just, the thing I appreciate about Macy is when they had Charlie at third with one out and that would, in the sixth inning, that would have been huge if they would have scored, but that's when Macy kind of finds her groove and that's where she separates herself from being good and great is she doesn't let those runners score. So that was, that was pretty impressive.